Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how I restore this retro IBM PC from the 90s. I slide it open and move the cover away for now. We can see everything is very nasty. Nasty indeed, and signs of liquid. Are you okay? After a first clean with the compressor, we can now see more clearly. But we need to take everything apart, because it's still pretty nasty. I continue to take away everything I need to then clean it in depth. Now that the motherboard is out, we can appreciate the nastiness. Everything is apart now. Time to wash everything so this little guy can breathe properly. After a deep wash for the cover, I decided to retrobrite the front with hydrogen peroxide. I used UV light in this case. And the result is good for me, but I erased the model number. Anyways, here's the rest very clean, case looking good, and a happy motherboard. Now I'll start putting everything together again. Alrighty then. The processor is in place, as well as the riser card. The PSU is clean and tested. A little cable management, and let's turn it on. The hard drive turns on. It has its original BIOS in Spanish. I press escape to cancel memory test, showing it has 64 megs of RAM. Looking good. But this A drive is not working, so I replace it. Moving on with the install, I can listen the new drive making a weird noise, but it's working. What's that noise? It's this scratching this. It seems the new drive has its motor exposed, opposed to the original one. I will have to make it work again. Yes, nasty. The drive is now clean and working again. The PC has its original 2GB hard drive with Windows 98 installed. I also have a DVD drive that works and looks good for replacement. Let's see if BIOS detects the drive. There is no mouse, but it shows me the DVD drive. Let's plug in a mouse since it has two USB ports. There we go. And after restart, we have a working mouse. But something doesn't feel right much better. I will have to clean it as well. Nasty. Looking much better. The color is back. The cable came out pretty good. Let's put it back together again. I got an IBM keyboard that matches the case. Nothing special as we see. So again, I will clean it up. After everything is removed, I can get out the cable so I can get it clean properly. Nasty. Sadly, the keyword would actually fail, and I left it apart because it was not worth the effort. After that, I got an actual working Microsoft keyboard that was new old stock. I updated the BIOS, so you can see it in English, but the escape function is not working. I will address that later as well as that green light. I need it blue. Alrighty then. 
Here's the final result. In my next videos, I will do some more testing and compare more hardware, like the following cards. This PCI 3D graphics card, this Yamaha OPL sound card, and this other creative sound card that needs repair as well. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.